Hey. All right. All right. All right. We're going to get started. All right. I got my music.
but God loves you that long. As we begin this renewal ceremony, I, I, I want us to start off by giving God praise for this union today. Can we do that right quick? Amen. Let's give God praise for this union. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading will be coming from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'd read verse 4 and then in verse 8, 8 through 13. It reads as follows, that love endures long and is patient and kind. Love is never envious nor boils over with jealousy. It's not boastful or vainglorious. Does not display itself haughtily. Love never fails, never fades out or becomes obsolete or comes to an end. As for prophecy, the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose, it will be fulfilled and pass away. As for tongues, they will be destroyed and cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. It will lose its value and be superseded by truth. For our knowledge is fragment, incomplete, and imperfect. And our prophecy or teaching, our teaching is fragmentary, incomplete, and imperfect. But when the complete and perfect total comes, the incomplete and the imperfect will vanish away, become void and superseded. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. Now that I have become a man, I am done with childish ways and have put them aside. For now we are looking in a mirror that gives only a dim blurred reflection of reality as in a riddle or an enigma. But then when perfection comes, we shall see in reality and face to face now i know in part and perfectly but then i shall know and understand fully and clearly even in the same manner as i have been fully and clearly known and understood by god and so faith hope love abide faith Conviction, 
and belief respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, hope, joyful, and confident expectation of eternal salvation, love, true affection for God and man, growing out of God's love for and in us. These three, three things, but the greatest of these is love. Right now, as we come to the ceremony, I want to begin by saying that marriage is an institution of divine appointment and is commended as honorable among all men. It is the most important step in life and should not be therefore be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but discreetly and soberly. In this estate, these two persons have come now to join in honor of celebration of the renewal of their union of 50 years at this time who give this woman to this man and renew all right god bless you you may have your seats all right Deacon Shipper, go get your bride amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. amen 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 proverbs Chapter 18, verse 22 states, Whosoever findeth a wife, findeth the good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. In honor and celebration of this 50th year wedding anniversary, as you continue in your commitment to God and to one another, in this sacred union of holy matrimony and dedication of your love, your devotion, and your commitment in good or bad times, in sickness and in health, as you two both continue to live, what say ye? All right. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. At this time, Sister Linda Milton will come with our solo. Amen. Amen. Yes, I got my little notes. I can't remember like I used to. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. When I woke up this morning, the very first thing I saw was your face. Don cannot erase the memory of the magic that we made. My heart skips a beat as I watch you as you sleep. And my heart is the window to your soul. And true love is what I
Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. Somebody going home half of the night. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. Uh, now we have our prayer. My own Reverend Jonah Lee Longmire. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God says, then I got all power in my hand. I'm able to forgive their sins and I can also heal the land. Father God, we come now in the majestic, majestic name of Jesus to just say thank you for being part of this reunion, the golden anniversary. We thank you for brother and sister Scipion, who has lived according to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. They live by love. They are perfect examples of love. And we thank you for them. We realize, dear God, you've allowed them to see the sunrise and see the sunset for many a years. But now in their golden years, they're able to come and stand before you and say thank you. You have blessed them and you've blessed their offspring. You've allowed them to have children and you bless them in their golden years to see their grandchildren. We thank you for them. We pray you anoint upon them that they will continue to live a long time and be a beacon light in this our dark world. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. A deacon second always say, those of us who love the Lord say, Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We wish witness our couple here today uh, to Deacon William, Sister Justina, Cyprian Senior. You all are true examples of Genesis 2 and 23. Amen. Where he says, This is now bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh. You have two have become one union. Uh, therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We decree now in the presence of Almighty God and in all who are witnesses in this celebration of union in the city of Daphne, in the state of Alabama, we now salute you and reunite you as husband and wife. Deacon Cyprian, you may salute your bride. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Getting all that sure. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, may we all stand. Thank God for your union. And we pray many, many, many years Amen. to come. Amen. Uh, we're going to bless the food. We're going to give our benediction. And I would ask uh, if the family would join them here as we pray or gather around.
Come on in, everybody. Amen. Our Father, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our presence here. Thank you for this union. And Father, now, as we go from this place, allow our steps to be ordered by you. In celebration today of Deacon and Sister Cyprian, Father, we thank you for their life. We thank you for everything that you have done through them and for them. Father, bless this food now that we're about to receive for the mercy of the bodies. As we celebrate now, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. And of heart, say amen. 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 Now listen. Oh. Let's get one. The best is yet to come. Hold on.